What's up guys, Adil Marquez 702 here, presenting a double news update for my channel. Um, the first news update is going to be on Super Smash Bros 3DS and Wii U, and the second one's going to be on Fire Emblem Fates, but, yo, my dudes, it's actually time right now. If you guys can see the webpage right now on the official site for Smash, we have new information on the newest DLC character in the game, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy. This is absolutely insane. Like, I forgot to cover this before when it first happened, but, you know, I've just been doing so much in, you know, in the course of a few days, and I just did not have the time to cover it at this time, but now, yo, dude, yo, guys, it's actually time right now. Are you kidding me? Um, but we are at the official site for Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. Here we have, um, you know, Cloud as a character. We're gonna go ahead and click on this page right now. Um, real quickly. This thing would load. Jeez. Alright, um, but as you guys can see, look at this. It says, coming soon, Cloud, uh, plus the Midger stage, or Midger stage. I don't know how the heck you pronounce it. But, they don't give us proper release dates on when he's gonna be released as a character and when the stage is. But, all we know that is, like, we have a special presentation going on in December, guys. And that's not even that far away. Who knows when it's gonna go down? I, yo... I just, I'm still trying to calm down from when, like, I reacted to his reveal. Like, I'm still trying to calm down from that. Like, that's how crazy this is. But, like, I'm still, I'm still in shock that he's actually in the game. Because I was expecting Shovel Knight to be in the game. That was it. But, there's something in speculation here that I think is so much different than what I expected. So, I'm going to make my predictions real quick. I think... Since this special presentation is going down in 20, um, not 2016, in December, I think, I think Cloud was just an extra character. I feel like they just gave it to us because fans wanted him so much, but that, I don't think that was the ballot. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you guys think of how the character choices are being made here. Do you think Sakurai meant to add him because of the ballot, or do you think he was just an extra character? I, I don't know, man. I mean... Anything can happen, seriously. So I'm actually, you know, just assuming that Cloud is just given to us right from the start, but the ballot is not over yet. Well, it is over, but we haven't gotten the results yet. If if they if this was the result of him being in the game, they would have they would have definitely addressed it like that. They didn't address it like he's the winner of the Smash ballot. They didn't say that. That's all I know. So what I think is that in the special presentation going down in December. I think for sure that the Smash Ballot winner is going to be announced in that presentation. Not even this. I don't even think he's the winner because I don't I don't really know one person who actually voted for Cloud. Maybe, maybe a large amount of people did, but I mean it wasn't a huge thing. It wasn't a huge vote going around. So what I think is I I think they're going to just reveal the other character in the Smash Ballot for next month. But dude, man, did you guys you know what? Just because I feel like it, we're actually gonna... We're gonna watch that trailer one more time. Hold on. Yo. I know I already did my reaction video on it, and it was really crazy and stuff. But yo. I can't contain myself. Hold on. Where's the movie list? We're gonna click on that. So they have it here, right? Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause my music here. We're gonna go ahead and see this right now. Oh my god. Here we go, guys. Let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see what this is about. Yo, you guys are gonna be able to see this right now. Oh my god. So we have the, you know, the nice introduction to the trailer. Yeah, like everything was just hyping up at this point. It was so freaking crazy. I'm just like, yo, what's going on? What what kind of what kind of trailer is this? I knew it was Smash from the beginning, because Reggie was like, I sent a new trailer approaching. I'm just like, yo, my boy Reggie, he knows how it goes. He knows. So then I saw this, I'm just like, oh my freaking god, are you kidding me right now? And then when I saw that, oh, I, I lost it, dude, I lost it right there. Final Fantasy, dude. Final Fantasy 7. I think this is like the only games where like Cloud was the main protagonist. Yeah, wasn't this the only game? Oh my lord, as soon as I saw that huge, huge sword. Yo, I knew. He just goes into full BA mode. Do you see that right now? Oh my lord. And then, then I try analyzing the movesets. So let's go ahead and analyze the movesets. So, what does that look like? Okay, that's a forward air. That's, that's a back air. 
That's his standard attacks. That's his down down tilt. That's obviously his down air. I mean, look at that spike, yo. I'm guessing that's his up tilt, down smash. Look at that. He's just playing it off. And then we have um, him and Zack's outfit from Final Fantasy VII. Very nice, in my opinion. That's definitely his F smash. You can't, you, you can't just analyze it like something else. Dash attack, back throw. He's just being... Yeah, what is that about, though? Is that a special move? Yo, that obviously has to be special move or something. That's probably his up B. That's prob... Is it like a two attack up B? I don't know. That was so cool. And now we're getting into the limit break. Okay. So, like, what is this about? Is this... Does he have the abilities like Shulk does? Like, he has different attributes? That's what I was thinking when I first saw this. And then we got that, that nice sexy stage. Uh, what's it called? Midger? Midger? I don't know. My gosh. Look at that. Do you guys see this right now? This is crazy. This trailer was so hype. Honestly, this trailer is just so hype. I can't... I can't stand how hype this is. And then we have his final smash, the Omni, -sla Omni Slash. That's what I mean. I can see why they put Ike there, though. Because, like... You know, he has the same final smash. Well, he has a very similar one. But yo, that Omni Slash looks so freaking hype. And then the victory theme. Hey! But there we go, guys. Smells like Chocobo. I don't know what that, that I don't know what that's about. I haven't played too many Final Fantasy games, so I wouldn't know, guys. But that's it. That's gonna do it for the trailer. I hope you guys uh did find that interesting. I know I definitely did. Uh but yo. The hype is so real right now, because we already know Cloud's a character, and that's hype as heck, and we just cannot wait for him to be in the game. But now we have something else to look forward to, and that's going to be that presentation in December. I'm going to see it. I hope I can actually react to it. I might do that. I might do a reaction video to that so you guys can see it with me. Um, but all I know is there's going to be something super, super hype in that presentation. Alright, but um, that's going to do it for this Smash half of the news update here. We are going to switch over to the Fire Emblem part, so I will be right back. Now we're moving over to the Fire Emblem Fate side of the things. Uh, the things. <laughs> that sounded so retarded. Alright, but here we go, guys. We're going to get into some more Fire Emblem Fates news. Now, as you all know, if you did see my reaction video, the whole Nintendo Direct, there was a segment in which they showed all Fire Emblem Fates. No gameplay trailers or anything like that, but we did get to see the release info, and not only that, how exactly the game's going to be released um, as a whole. So, not only... Okay, wait, not only that, um... So we have the two versions. We have Birthright and Conquest. Super hype. But not only that. I mean, most of us fans knew that there's going to be a third story. But, oh my god, yo. When I saw some of that, like that little tiny piece of gameplay in the Revelation. When, uh, what's her name? Aqua? I mean, that's her Japanese name. I don't know her actual English name. But when she fell off that bridge, I, I'm, well, I'm like, okay. Um, you okay there? I'm like, what? But, like, I think there's going to be something super huge in the Revelation version. But not only that, there's actually going to be a special edition for Fire Emblem Fates for both versions in one cartridge or in one version of the game. And then it, it includes both Conquest and Revelation um, for the Birthright version. Or it could be the other way around. You could just uh, purchase Conquest with the bundle and then have Birthright and Revelation in there, too. But that's not the only thing to be hyped for, guys. Like, you have to understand... We also have the release info, finally. And I was wrong. I, I knew I was wrong from the very beginning. Because, like, I'm like, no, there's no way it's going to be released in 2015, the game. I mean, I actually confronted my older brother yesterday. Um, like, I was just like, you were wrong, bro. Get out of here. Don't ever lie to me like that again. I got so hyped. But, you know, it even tells you. It says February 19th, 2016. Um, the release date for Fire Emblem Fates. But, you know... He felt very embarrassed after that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but what we're going to be doing now, guys, is since we already got that hype out of the way, we're going to be viewing the characters, because I have no idea what the characters' names are. I mean, I think I might have, like, memorized one. Actually, no. Never mind. I, I'm lying. I, I do not know any of the characters' names. All right, but if this page would load, for goodness sake... So now we're going to go on to the characters page on IGN. Yeah, I want to give a big thanks to IGN. Um... I'm not big thanks, just a big shout out. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and view- What the heck? I don't want a Kit Kat! No! Oh my god, all these ads, so stupid. Um... Yo, what the heck? Alright, hold on, let me- let me zoom in for a second, I'll be right back guys, hold on. 
Let me get out of this. Wait, what the heck? Yo, what? Okay, wait. There we go, much better. There, there's my face. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead and view this character's page. Uh, so, I'm gonna read this, I guess. This page contains a list of characters for Fire Emblem Fates, including all playable, recruitable, and boss characters. Note that in Fire Emblem Fates, there are some characters who will join your quest, no matter what, while certain characters will only be recruitable depending on what path you take and what, on who you talk to. There are also children characters you can re be recruited once, um... Characters marry being up, uh, sorry, be achieving S rank support, as well as what is it, as capturable boss characters that will join your side um, of caught in battle. So, this is kind of like what Fire Emblem Awakening had like, you had characters that are recruitable, even if they are on the other side, like an enemy, you can still talk to them and convince them to join your side if they seem like that kind of unit. Like, if they just seem full on villain, then you can't talk to them and get them on your side. Um, but, like, if they kind of seem like they're, like, resisting to fight you, then you can actually talk to them with, you know, the main protagonist, and they can join your side. So, I'm really hyped for that, because they're going to have the same thing in this game. But not only that, um, they're also going to have the boss recruitable feature. Um, they, have, they also had that in Awakening as well, to where, like, I'm going to give some spoilers uh, to my Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. Eventually, you'll be able to recruit King Gangrel. Um, as a playable character, um, I'm not gonna say how, but eventually, like, near the end of the end of the game, but, um, what is it? Yeah, so, like, they're gonna have that feature back, they're also gonna include, you know, the children characters from when you marry, um, units together, so that's gonna be really cool, but let's go ahead and see this, so there, apparently the, the default avatar's name is called Corin. why is it called Corin for this girl, though, I don't understand that. Um, so let's see this. I can definitely tell. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Okay, so in the Japanese version, she's called Aqua. But in the English version, she's called Azura. What the heck is he, though? Hello? Wait. There's two Azuras. There's female and male? No, there's probably not. It's alright, but... Oh, what the heck? That'd be weird, though. Alright, that would be weird if they had, like, a male version. So then we have Felicia... Um, Aizana, Jacob, Kays, Mazumi, I'm guessing, and Silas. I hope I'm pronouncing these names right. I'll be a complete idiot if I don't. Um, then we have Arthur, Belka, Ben, Benoit, Benoit, it looks like that. Then we have, um, Miss Hoochie Mama over here with those nice, uh, nice boobies. Uh, Camellia, uh, <laughs> yo, dude, like, yo. Alright, but anyway, <laughs> then we have Charlotte, and then we have F, Effie, Effie, I think so, um, and then we have Elise, oh, she's on the other side, I think, she's actually on the, uh, north side, Flannel, Flora, Gunter, Lazwad, wow, this character looks a lot like Anisio from Awakening, okay, Leo, I think he has a pretty huge part in the story, Luna, Nyx, Odin, Plary, Xander, I think he's the leader of the Nor army, I think. Um, unlike the, that king guy. And then we have Zero. He's pretty cool. Um, so these are the Hoshido exclu exclusive characters. So we're going to get into some of the Birthright exclusive characters as well. Asama, Crimson, Hana, Hana, I don't know. Hinata, Hinoka, uh, Kaguro, Nishiki, Oboro, Orochi, Rip. What the heck? Renka? Ryoma? He's gonna be the leader of the, uh, what is it? Hoshido Kingdom. I definitely know that for a fact. Apparently, he's this different class. I think it's called, um, Master Blade or something. I'm, I'm totally wrong, I, I feel. Um, but yeah. I actually thought he was a sword master, but apparently not. Uh, Saizo, Sakura, Setsuna, Subaki, Takumi, Tsukiyomi? I think that's how you say it. Yukimura, and then Yuguri, and now we have the children characters, so, you know, I'm not even gonna bother with this, there's like a lot of them, and then, uh, there are also enemy characters you can recruit as well, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for the characters and everything, I'm still probably not gonna memorize their names, 
But that's perfectly fine, I guess, because, you know, I'm going to end up learning them in the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I don't learn them before it comes out, so I don't really care. Um, but thanks so much for watching this double news update, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure, as always, to smash that like button, guys. Um, it always helps me out a ton. Um, if you've not subscribed to my channel, by the way, and would like to become a part of the Marquesis Foundation, go do that as well. But anyway, guys, thanks so much again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquesis.